Ah, uh, fusion summoning. Is there a more satisfying mechanic in the game? Well, we talked about how sluggish rituals can feel last week. I'd go so far as to say that the opposite is true for fusions. The mechanic has gotten so much support year after year that a simple activation of a fusion card can still end on you plussing like a madman and laughing about it. Speaking of laughing like a madman, let's talk about everybody's favorite fusion summon related jester. That's right, today's episode will be focusing on the many adventures of Albaz, Ecclesia, and the Boober of Duber himself. We'll be playing Branded. Bischel. With the sudden introduction of the ban list last week, many are touting Branded Bischel as possibly the best deck in the format at the moment. It can certainly do a lot, and as I mentioned earlier, it is but one of the many fusion decks that pluses ad infinitum off the resolution of a single fusion spell. All this in conjunction with the power of Bistuls, and you'd be hard-pressed to say that Branded Bistul isn't one of the strongest lore decks ever printed in the game, if not the strongest. What makes it so strong, though? How exactly can I pilot this sweet-ass deck, Noah Jink? I don't know. I'm not good at the game. That said, maybe I can help you out with how you might want to build your deck locally, and maybe even help out with a combo or two along the way. So, let's not waste any more time. Grab your structure deck and get ready to summon Guardian Chimera, because it's time for Branded. Hey, it's your boy Noah Jank here. We are going to be rocking Bistol Branded Budget Style. And it's great because it's a title that you can say to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles opening. That's right, we are going Bistol Branded Budget style for today. And we made some adjustments here today uh, from a Bistol Branded deck list that I do rock IRL. Uh, we're not playing Thrust. We're not playing two Cartesia, we're not playing three Lebellion, and we're not playing Guardian Chimera. We're trying to play the most budget version of Bistol Branded possible that you can make your deck uh, for, similar to this, maybe even the same deck if you want, at your locals and rock branded all the way through. So there's a lot of really cool things that Bistol Branded can do, and at its absolute peak, I think that it can be the strongest deck this format now that Full Power Tears is officially dead in the water. Uh, so I'm really excited about this. We're, run we're maining these Nibiru because I think Boardbreaker is going to be really, really good this format. I think if you're not maining Nibiru, you're incorrect. I think this is a crazy card. Clears cash and it clears a whole bunch of rogue decks that fuck you over as well. And God knows there's a lot of those. Uh, so that could be a thing you run. Uh, three Alibur is correct. Two Alibur is correct. If you are not running Ad Libidum, please reconsider. Ad Libidum is so good. This is an absolutely insane card, man. Ad Libidum is fantastic. If you've already banished some stuff off and doing a banish some stuff off of like whatever, maybe you're doing some stuff, I don't know, Mirror Jade stuff, whatever. Ad Libidum is so good, man. They send it off a branded fusion to make the Lebellion special summon a card back. Ah, oh, it's just crazy good. I highly advise for that. Uh, we're running three Serenir and three Magnemite. I might consider two Mag for this. Uh, video, and you know what? We'll do that on the fly, actually. Yeah, we'll do two mag for this video. Two mag, three Serenir, one Druusworm, one Baldrake. I do think that Serenir is the best card you're going to be running for this deck, and it's also the cheapest Bistral. By a mile, I think, outside of Baldrake, which is a common. Two Albaz is what we need. One Cartesia. We are still rocking Cartesia because we have Fusion Deployment, and we're running Gwen Quignal uh, in the extra deck as well. So, Cartesia is a little bit expensive, but you are going to need at least one, I think, for this deck to operate. Mercurier is two, because not only is a Hand Trap, we can send it off to some in Renbrum, which is an absolutely amazing card. Deployment to get out Cartesia. Triple Tactics, because it's really good. Branded in white, because we can set up a crazy combo that I hope to show off turn one. Branded Fusion, because it's the best card in the game. Foolish Burial is a one card combo. Call by, because we're scared of Ash. Uh, branded Opening is a protection and also an incredible starter. Branded in red gets us fusion monsters. Paradise Lost gets us some really, really cool stuff we can do. We have Branded Regained here to gain back brand, uh, Brandish Monsters. Branded Beast to pop and Retribution to add back any Branded spell from the grave or if we need it, just to act as a counter trap. The extra deck is pretty standard. We can go into all of these fusions. Tax Dragon is really good, but not as good this format. Uh, really, what you're going to be ending on a lot of the time is Mirror Jade, Grand Guignol, and Renbrum. A really, really solid ending field that is definitely consistent and definitely doable. So that's going to be the deck profile, guys. I'm really excited to show off what this deck can do. I love Branded, and I think it is incredibly strong right now, even in a budget format. So I'm going to give you guys just a taste of what we can do. Let's get into the duels. What are we seeing here today? Ah, 
We're gonna be seeing, of course, it's Chibi Gohans. You're gonna be Okay, Tamer Editor. Cross Sheep. Special summon a level four or lower monster. Level four or lower monster. And it's gonna be Karis. I think here is where we're gonna uh, Nibiru. Yeah, it makes sense. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know what? No, that's fair. That's respectable. That is, that's a respectable activation. I appreciate that. Dude, Gladiator Beast has a, neg has a negate, huh? Well, color me surprised, I suppose. Anyway, this is a crazy board. What's going on here? Oh, wait, this is, oh, wait a second. This is turn two. I'm gonna die. So, we're gonna go ahead and Alver. Activate effect. Everyone's favorite card, Branded Fusion. Gonna get the Branded Fusion, and we're gonna go ahead and activate it to make Rinbrum. And it is absolutely incredible. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and Magnemut to target the Merc. Gonna summon out the Magnemut. We'll go Chain 1, Merc. Chain 2, Mag. Uh, we'll add Cartesia. Cartesia effect to special itself. We'll go Cartesia into Gwignol. Bam. Bam, I think. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Go Gwignol. Uh, effect of Gwignol. Fortunately, I did not get a Serenir, but that's fine. Uh, we're gonna send... This is, this, this is still fine, actually, to be honest with you. This is still really good. There you are. So this is not the full combo that I want, but it's the full combo that I deserve. Uh, we'll pass here. In phase, we got a few things to resolve. Now we can Synchro Barone. Yes, so true, bestie! Uh, we're gonna mag to add Serenir. I do love me some Serenir, chat. Then we're gonna resolve Cartesia. Add her back to hand because a fusion was sent. And we're gonna resolve Albion. Put it back in, uh, put a, put a spell over here. We're gonna get uh, branded in red in the spell and trap zone. And your turn. Look at that, chat. Five cards in hand. Five cards in hand. End of the first turn. Crazy board. Geek boy. Oh! Are we seeing um, the deck that I played last week against my current deck? That's pretty cool, actually. If there's going to W on my end, that's actually good to know. Uh, I feel like Nib kills a lot of rogue decks. But uh, yeah, I was certainly not prepared. I'll say that much. But uh, now I know. So thank you for the uh, uh, sage advice there. Appreciate that. Now, are we, are we doing the Makonko variant or are we just doing pure Libro? I wonder. They definitely have ways around this. Fire is going to add a Ritual. I don't feel the need to banish Gwignol quite yet. Uh, probably first appearance battle. What? Whoa. Interesting. Okay. That's not what I expected there. Necroz Lib would be the best variant. Unicorn Horse hosts a lot of things. Oh, dude, yeah. No, Necroz is crazy for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely something I, I need to look into, to be honest. Necroz and Gishki actually seem like they're oh, they seem like they're okay right now, to be honest. Not bad. E sold. Oh no, I, I can't. I'm sorry, I cannot allow that. I cannot allow an E sold to resolve. That's just too much. That's way too good. Wow, E. There's the Makonko. Okay, there comes the Makonko. He soldered me. Side note, how does Shangra work against Unicorn? Does it get to get fully? Um, well, the negation is a continuous effect, so I don't think that applies. I, I might be wrong. Is there, like, a, someone who can help out with that rolling? I, I believe the effect stuff is a, um... The effect stuff is a continuous effect on Shangra Law, like the, the zone blocking. Am I, am I incorrect about that, chat? I, I think I'm correct, but I might be an idiot, which is very possible. Yeah, it's the XC ship, yeah. So I believe the way that that works is that it's a continuous effect. Okay, is that, that's how that works? Okay. I, I, I thought as much, but I was not sure. But that's good to know. The one that blocks your zones. Yeah, it's a continuous effect that blocks. So you can't really negate that. It's just a continuous while it is face up. So, okay. Yes, this all makes sense to me. No, this is fine. Ouch. Welcome, Raiders! I, I bought the Minka. Oh, God, I'm getting... Oh, Jesus Christ, it's gonna be Barone. But, uh, yeah, welcome, guys. Uh, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. When in doubt, I guess. Branded in red, uh, target Oliver. Yep, negate. That's fine. I actually don't mind that, to be honest. I hey, I mean, that's fine. I'm not running Chimera in this build. That's fine with me. We'll Serenir target your Makanko. Bam. Draw. Standby. Are we gonna Barone here? Main. 
I wonder if that was the plan. I wonder if the plan was to Barone target. Maybe I should have saved to see if that was, but nah, I like having Serenir on their field. I think that's probably better. Whatever. I mean, yeah, nah, it's whatever. Uh, okay, so we're still fine here. We'll summon Alibur. And we'll activate the effect of Alibur. We're gonna add a branded spell trap. Isn't branded fusion just game here? Oh, I should have done fusion deployment for Albaz. Oh, that would have been so much better because then I could have made Mirror Jade and swung in directly. Bruh. That's fine. Bing, bing. Uh, yeah, we can make Mirror Jade now. So that's good, but is that what we want? Yeah, no, fuck it. That's what we want, absolutely. So we'll do the Albaz from the deck. Ran Gwignol. Mirror Jade. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do the Mirror Jade effect here. We're gonna send an Albion. Non-targeting Banish. Hiya. And uh, attempt to hit for game. You could always Mirror Jade, negate Mirror Jade to bounce Barone. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a really good one. I like that one a lot. My yeah. loss was against Bishop Branded. Well, I hope I can help out with that, because this is a real... Is this Exodia? Is this Exodia? Or is this Alexandrite Dragon Beatdown? What is this? Link Spider. What? Rise of the Underdog Exodia? It, ah, it's crazy. Gene Warped Werewolf. Wow, okay. Hi, buddy. What's going on, man? Good to see ya. Nibiru. And here comes Rafflesia. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. That was good. I like that. Good shit there. Good shit. Thinking. We'll go Albaz. Effect. Discard. We'll discard Nibiru. Force your hand here. Rafflesia. So that gets rid of the Rafflesia, which is fine. Bottomless Trap Hole. I mean, that's... That's, that's annoying, but I get it. There is a reason Doc likes this deck. Uh, Brain of Fusion. On Summon, I'm imagining we're getting uh, time spaced. Yep. Fair enough. Shuffle back. That is fine. I don't know what they're cooking with chat tricks. It's definitely not legal. It's certainly not legal. One may even say it's illegal. Uh, we'll go Baldrake. They're getting flat by Automod? I'm not seeing it. That's weird. Huh. Bam. Well, Mercurier effect here. We're going to add... I actually don't think the best play is, um... Actually, is it the best play? No, it probably is. Uh, because what's the other sets, right? We have Holtea... And Dimension, we'll go Cartesia. Yeah, well, we should time out the auto mod. If we could, I would. Uh, that is fine. You can pop the Baldrake. Pop. Uh, Cartesia effect. We'll go, is Priskinian maybe? Ooh, Priskinian would be really good for this, actually. Wow. A uh, mask would be good. Ooh, baby. Hold on a second. Hubba hubba. Uh, we're going to go for this. Kratos. Battle phase. Uh, we are going to hit Sarah in the face. Rafflesia is fine. That is okay. Go to main two. I think we'll pass our turn here. I don't think we have anything on the end phase. No, we do not. Uh, Underworld Goddess. I should have used Alibur. I feel like, I feel like the, am I crazy or did the trap tricks are like start out? Cause what was that? Like that was judgment, light of the judgment, right? Or whatever that set is. Like, is that, um, I feel like the art used to be like kind of normal <laughs> and then it like became more and more of this as it went on. You know what I mean? Is that just me? Is that just me? Yeah. Well, it was around 2013 or 14 when they debuted. Yeah. And I lose. <laughs> Do I be pandering? I mean, hey, if it works, it works, right? Dragon Maid exists. And then I die. To criminals. <laughs> True. Being heavily promoted, like, side events for Edison and Go. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, that's nice. All right, what's the play here? Um, We'll go opening. Discard Nib. 
We're gonna summon out the boy. Alibur the bud, booby booby, booby, just for booby booby. Also speed duels, yeah, also speed duels. Also speed duels. Uh, we'll go ahead and do Magnemut here. Bam, Magnemut effect on the new chain. We'll go one, yeah, we'll go one mag here. When stream is over, can we raid Emperor Stove? Yeah, sure, I don't know who that is, but why not? Also, thank you for the 25 bits, I appreciate it. I wanna get my friends to know I were allowed to try it, but they refuse to play modern. Ah, that's goofy. They should play it, man. It's cool. Yu-Gi-Oh is cool, man. Play Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, go ahead and Albaz. Why not? Uh, effective Albaz here. Discard. Time to make us a Mirror Jade. Noah XC's and a Beatrice? Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. The commonly available Beatrice in all these decks. Battle. Uh, I should have put these guys in attack. Or at least I should have put you in attack. I can't put Albert in attack. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Uh, over. Yeah, they're very commonly played Beatrice and Branded. Yes, exactly. Uh, hit over. Uh, main two. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this continuous spell. I don't know what it does, but I'm scared of it. Was watching YCS Lion top eight. The tier player Mills 10 got changed to six, and that was just an average mode for them. Oh shit, it's only monsters! No! Oh, I messed up. Okay, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. I, I misplayed there. I didn't read correctly. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, Magnemut. We'll get a Serenir. Dude, I'm so glad full power tier is dead after tomorrow. Press one if you're glad that the witch is dead. Goodbye, Alibur. He said goodbye. Like AOL online. You guys remember AOL? Or are you guys too young for that? I'm probably too young for that. I'm so glad Kit's gone. It can still be used in engines, but it the full deck by itself is gone. Nah, nah, nah. Which makes me very happy. What does this do? Target, such summon it, and it goes from a deck. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think tier will still do fine. It's just like, I don't think it's gonna be nearly as good as it was. You know what I mean? Like, it'll still be in engines. I just don't think the pure deck has what it takes. But I'm also not a good player. So take my opinion with a... I cannot stress this enough. I'm not good at this game. Whatever I'm saying, just don't listen to. But like, I don't think it'll be good enough by itself. You know what I mean? Gained, shuffle back, and I draw a card. Stand by, go main, go to battle, send. Look at all these bistrals, chat. Because guess what? I got no winning idiot! <laughs> L! Chat, press one if that was an L. Albert. Effect. If I don't get nibbed here, I should be able to get full combo. Uh, branded Fusion. Do not ash me, bro. Okay, we did not get ash. Thank you. I'm uh, gonna make Renbrum sending Albaz and Merc. Uh, Serenir, target the Merc. No hand traps to go off. Now that is what I like to hear. You ever sit down against your opponent at a local or whatever, and they're like, I don't got any hand traps or anything. And you're, you're just inside, you're like, you're outside, you're like, oh man, haha. But inside, you're like, yeah. I definitely break against Gohan, yeah. <laughs> uh, Cartesia, if you don't mind. Chat, press one if you look like Cartesia IRL. Also DM me. Uh, let's see. We're gonna make Grand Guignol. Grand Guignol, we're gonna go chain two on that. We're gonna go chain one Serenir. No negates. Uh, we're gonna send Albion. And we're also going to send Branded in white. Here's where the combo gets fun. Shout out to Earl Grey. We're gonna do Albion here. Send the Retribution from deck. Retribution, banish. Targeting the Branded in White. Branded in White effect. Using, we're gonna make Mirror J, uh, excuse me, Lubellion. Where are you, Lubellion? We're gonna get to Mirror J versus Lubellion. Uh, we're gonna be using Albaz in the grave and Serenir in the grave. Lubellion. Lubellion, we're gonna discard uh, opening, because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna make Mirror Jade. We'll do Albaz and Lubellion. Uh, Mirror Jade, Albion, Negate. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know why it skipped you, man. That's weird, I'm sorry. Uh, and I think we're good there. In phase, we got quite a few things to do. We're gonna Albion here. 
to set branded in red. Stupid bots, yeah, I'd be like that. That is disgusting, I love it. That was kind of raw. Chat, press one if that bouncing Alibur was raw. Cartesia, back to hand. All right, that's a pretty good field if I do say so myself. What are we seeing here? McConkos, that's fine. On res, we're gonna mirror Jade effect. Sin Albion. Shit, I messed up, I messed up. Oh no, it's not a monster. Fuck, I did it again, chat. No, I keep messing that up. I thought, ah, that's the second time I did that today. God damn it. Either that or Super Quants. No problem watching the YCS day too. Hey, nice. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things going on over there. Um, thankfully, this is the last fucking day we have to deal with full power tier, so. Hey. I might watch it after this. Maybe. I don't know. I got a date to go on, so probably not. <laughs> Chat, so I don't know if you guys have paid attention, but with Cyberstorm access out in the OCG, Super Heavies is crazy. Super Heavies is so good right now. They've gotten several tops in the OCG just recently. Tear is dead, thank God, yes. A date date? I do, in fact, have a date. Like, them being Earth is already really good because that means they can run Gozen and they're, like, strong against Bistrals. Dragon Link make a comeback? Hey, Dragon Link can make a comeback. That's fine. I don't mind that. Anyway, set Albaz, contact fuse. Oh, it's the pain train! Jesus! That is a deck! Okay, anyway, uh, normal Albaz. Effect. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Not like this! Not like this! Not like this! It can't happen like this! It just can't be! No! Oh no! Why God? Why must our God be so cruel and unjust and unmerciful? Why God? Why? No! No, no! No! Yeah, barrier statue. <laughs> barrier statue, earth barrier statue would be crazy there, actually, to be honest. Like, if Super Heavies could run it, that'd be absolutely insane. I cannot believe I OTK'd off of that. That's crazy. Oh, that's so bananas. So, Ice, I hope you're excited, man. Because, honest to God, dude, Super Heavies is legitimately really, 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 really good right now in the OCG. Like, with the support it got, it has topped so much, man. Legitimately. Ooh, nice draw. We'll activate fusion deployment. We're gonna reveal... Ah, eh, fuck it. We'll reveal Albion. There he is. Hey, Albion. What's up, buddy? Special Cartesia. They were meant to be, Chad. Cartesia effect. Uh, Gwignol. Uh, Gwignol effect. We're gonna send the revealed Albion. Uh, set. And attempt to end phase. Even though I just set the card. <laughs> oh, draw match! Dark Arm Dragon! Show me Dark Arm Dragon! Yeah! Dark Arm Dragon! Let's go! Reminder that you can search Dark Arm Dragon off of Oja Match and it's base as hell. My god. What are we seeing here? Sendayu? Oh, so cute, boss. Interesting. Uh, that's fine. Uh. Oh my god! What the fuck? Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. We'll go ahead and, uh, Proskenian. That's insane, bro. Ojama Kashtira. 
Yeah, and he should, everybody's repressing too right now. Oh god, it's Fenrir. I literally have met my Oja match, it's true. I'm literally meeting my Oja match right now. This is insane! Who, 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 what, like, who thinks of this? Like, what? Why? You know, like, what the fuck? What, like, what, what's even the point of the Ojamas? Just run tears. Like, what? Do we even have enough darks to do? We have exactly one dark in the grave. Literally one dark is in the grave right now. This is like low-key sauce, right? Like, it's not just me. This is like low-key kind of saucy. Oh, God. There goes that zone. Oh, shit! That's why! That's why! That's why we're doing Ojamas! Because of Ojama King and Shangri-La! To lock out all the zones! Oh, that's crazy! Wow! That's insane! What a menace! Ground Collapse best deck, baby! So you know of Nib, true. Um, yeah, Kashtir doesn't have a lot of protection. Uh, this is true. But they have a really annoying effect. So, eh. You know, your mileage may vary. We're gonna go ahead and go to battle phase. It didn't let me use the orb? What do you mean, it didn't let you use the orb? I don't know what that means. Uh, let's see. Ojama Pajama? Will you use Shangri-La Standby F? I mean, could you? Uh, you might have had chain off or something? I'm not sure, that's weird. Uh, alright, anyway, battle phase. Uh, or maybe not, dude. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take one of your monsters, actually. Let's see, do I want to take control or do I want to draw, chat? What do I want to do more here? I don't want to take control, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's very odd. They might, might have had chain off or something like that, you know? Uh, that's fine. Banish your banish your deck. Uh, we'll use uh, Druus Worm as material. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, dude. Um, what do I do here? Target a card on the field and banish it face down? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Dude, oh my god, I'm cheating right now. Chat, I'm cheating. I'm cheating! I'm cheating! I'm cheating! Oh, I'm cheating! Oh, oh my god, I'm cheating so hard! Oh, oh, I'm cheating! Oh, 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 I'm cheating! And I can banish Merc off of this too! Merc effect is banished there! Oh, that's so good! I'm cheating! Whoa, whoa, yeah, oh yeah, give me that fucking shit, baby, I want that so cute, boss. Woo, yeah, ooh, give me that shit, motherfucker. Ooh, yeah, yeah, tribute summon that motherfucker. Ooh, fuck your dreams, fuck your life, baby. Uh, let's see. Actually, do I want to do that? Now let's go, let's go for lethal. I'm, I'm cheating so hard, bro. This should not be legal. Anyway, Gores, bro, I swear to God, if you pull Gores on me, everybody dies. <laughs> Holy moly. Hey, this is a pretty good deck. If you were sleeping on this deck before, I gotta be honest with you guys. This deck is absolutely incredible. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff that this deck can do, and I really think I showed off a good amount of it. The Branded and White combo, I definitely showed off at least once. Uh, Branded and Red, even without Chimera in the extra deck, still has some decent targets. And Bistuls are just absolutely insane in this deck, man. Along with Branded Regained, uh, this is a crazy continuous spell that works in conjunction with it. Um, would I change anything? Obviously, this is a budget version. So budget is gonna, it's gonna vary what I would change based on what your budget may be. Uh, but that being said, if you need to play different hand traps, you might could consider running something like possibly Ash Blossom. Uh, you definitely want to play a Call by the Grave, though, because Call by is an incredible tool to have against Ash Blossom, which is the number one enemy of this deck. If your Branded Fusion gets Ashed, it is not going to be a fun time for you in the slightest. Um, but there's a lot of cool things this deck can do. Would I change anything about the budget version, though? 
I don't think so. I think this is actually probably the best best build you're going to get for a budget version of Branded Bistral. Uh, and I really think it's sick, man. I really think that uh, a lot more people should be playing Branded. And hopefully they do, man. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you like this deck. If you do, leave a like down below. And put a comment down below for another deck you'd like to see me try on next week's episode of VTuber vs. Viewer. But guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys had a wonderful time with this video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Keep your game on.